actually really light. And then we look on top and it matches really well. And then I have the coil bracket down. I'm tired. Well, welcome back to another goddamn video. Do I have any idea of what I'm doing? Absolutely not, so don't ask me what I'm doing, but I can tell you what I should be doing today is wiring up my battery, my fans, uh, and my starting on my throttle body. That's what I'm starting on today. And then Skeeter and I are gonna work on a bracket for this, and then I should be able to make my last water line for the bulkhead. I have to have that welded on. So Will's gonna do that. But, so last time I had these fuses, these are ATM fuses, not ATC fuses. So ATM, the smaller fuses. And these are ATC fuses, and these won't fit in those fuses. And for some reason it's super hard to find 40 amp ATM fuses. So I just bought the ATC fuse holders and the 40 amp ATC fuses. So I'm gonna swap those out right now. That'll be good to go. I bought um, from ProWire fuse holders, battery terminal relocation kit. I got this, forgot from where. It's not from ProWire because they didn't have it. Um, I bought battery cable because I thought that the uh, terminal relocation kit was gonna come, wasn't going to come with it, but it did. So I have extra cable. I can use this for stuff like extending out my starter wire and my alternator wire. So that's good. And then I got this. This is for my throttle body. So I should be able to pull the wires from the ECU and those will go right, you know, those will be pretty short. And then this is to extend the throttle body down to the ECU. And this is, I believe, five, that's actually five feet. I thought I got six, but that should be more than enough that I need to extend those wires. So let's get started today. Okay. So this I'm not sure what this connector is because on the other car, on Lexi, I went and looked and this just goes down to the transmission. So I guess it's just a ground of some sort. I'm guessing. I could be totally wrong. But this is the wire for my starter. So this bolts to the starter, plugs into the stock starter. What I need to do is I need to extend these wires and then put a different connector on for the wasp starter which I do in fact have which is this I wonder if they're the same they look the same I'm not sure. Again, not a genius. Don't actually know what I'm doing here. But I guess I could cut this, extend the wire all the way to the starter, crimp this in, and then just plug it in. I assume that's what I could do. But looking at this, I think I'm going to have to ask Kevin because this is a thicker gauge wire than what this is. But I don't think it would make that much of a difference. And this is what they sent. So I'm going to trust my boys over at Wasp. And they even sent another one of these just in case I mess up, I'm guessing. Oh, no. Oh, this is another. Okay, so that means I could take this connector and put it on here, or I could cut the wire, slip that wire into this, put this into that connector, and yeah. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But. They sent pretty much everything else that I'm going to need, so that's pretty sick. So, now I guess I would just cut this wire and then add to it with this wire that I have. There's a chance I might need more. Alright, so... This is some thick ass wire. I found butt connectors for it. Problem is, these are so goddamn big that I can't fit like like that. That's that's not gonna work, right? Like 
actually I may force this, I didn't even try these, but I need to now strip this wire so that I can take this wire and stick it in here and then I gotta be able to crimp it so that I can run it all the way over to the other side and connect it to the starter. Um, do I have any idea of how I'm gonna crimp this? Absolutely not, I don't. So you guys are gonna watch me figure this out. I'll be talking to the Cornwall dude today or next week. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the idea is take this, that punch, and that piece of wood, put the punch on top of it, and then hit it and flatten it out. You just need it to flatten out pretty much. So we'll see what happens, and uh, yeah. All right, so I got it done. I got the wire running to the other side. And you can see the connector right there. And the wire is running all the way down to the bottom. And now, yeah. I just gotta get under the car, connect it to the starter, and then I can work on the other wire. Go to the starter. It's a lot, but. It's working, it's a slow process, but it's going, so that's good, can't complain though.
Okay, got everything blasted yesterday, powder coated and everything. And it wasn't gloss black, which we thought was in the gun, but it wasn't, it was just matte black. But I mean, honestly, I don't hate it. It's super clean, super subtle. It all looks really good in there. It's super dark in there, which I actually really like. And then you look on top and it matches really well. And then I have the coil bracket down there. Um, so right now what I'm actually getting ready to do is I'm actually getting ready to tap holes for the uh, water, water adapter so I can run my turbo lines. So I'll do that and then I'll be able to run my lines. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna be wiring up a sensor as well. So let's do it. All right, and now that the radiator is powder coated, I got that in, I got that line there. And then I have to do the water pump. Me and Skeeter are actually gonna work on a bracket system for the mount it right here. And then I'll be able to do my water lines from there to there. And then next what I'll do is I'll mount my fans. And I'll actually like mount them since I have the wires ran for them. Plug them in, they'll be out of the way. That'll be good. And then I made the water line for my turbo. I didn't mind showing you guys that because you guys have seen me make lines countless times already. So it's, it's actually pretty close. I'm gonna come in tomorrow. I'll swap my spark plugs. I actually have brand new spark plugs that I'll throw in there. These are just like old ones that I've been using just to plug the holes. And then I will sit down, order the wire, because I haven't done that. So I need to do that, just get that done. I have a few more things. I need to order the terminal relocation kit, the pickup tube for the oil pan, because once we get a lift up over here, then we'll put my car on the lift. We'll be able to finish the exhaust and then Skeeter and I will be able to finish the oil pan or Skeeter will be able to finish the oil pan. I don't know, uh, he, we, he teaches me. So we'll be able to finish that. And then um, I really just have to finish up wiring and then I really think we'll be good to go. And like now I'm gonna start to like button things up and finish all the little things that I need to finish up. And once I get that stuff finished, like we're like, we're very close, so I'm pretty excited. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button because we're like so close. We're gonna turn the key and start Samantha. And it's gonna be great, so yeah.